Here we go again, back with more Pro Cycling Mania. It's stage 13 this time. We have a mountain stage. I think it's the second mountain stage so far of the Dio d'Italia. Slow links in the last week now, meaning that we have a lot more exciting stages that will really decide the overall classification. Right now I'm third overall. I think I'm about a minute or two ahead of fourth place, where I believe is, is Micah probably, if I remember correctly. Landa is a bit further back, so is Dumoulin. Maybe it's Uran. I can't exactly remember who it is. But it's Mavada's first, Nibali second, and I think it's Mike who's in fourth right now, who I'm battling with for the final podium spot. But let's get into the race, and we'll probably do the final category one and category two climb today. Okay, so we're now at the bottom of the final climb. I attacked on the first climb, meaning that Pro is in a group behind us now, uh, two minutes behind. It's only a 13 man pills, and Kreuzvik, Dombrovsky, Visconti, Roach, Sagrina, some of the people. But there's major gaps in the entire pills on here today. I think we'll see some big time differences because a lot of people here are tired. They have had a lot on flat road here to rest and the peloton hasn't been going that fast here in the last, I don't know how many kilometers because I wanted to save up Andy as well and I didn't have any teammates of course to help me pull the peloton. We've had Amador and Kanga and Fulsang working for this content level itself but they've just been sitting at a low pace here. So I'm going to try again here, probably should have gotten water before I started it. But let's just see what we can make happen here. I don't think we'll see a lot because everybody should be pretty full of energy at this point. But I uh, will try our best here. I'm just having everyone else on auto now so they should get water from themselves and stuff like that. There goes Mikael Lander. He's a bit behind right now. He's like four minutes after me. So he needs to get up a lot of time if he wants to beat me, uh, overtake me and get a podium finish or even get close to Alverda Lander who I have suspected he would be battling with at the start of the race, but he hasn't shown to be that great so far this season, or this Giro d'Italia. Um, Valverde is the one chasing with Kanga, Nibali, Maika, I think people are struggling now, Amador and Fulsang. The two helpers from uh, Valverde and Nibali are going to be dropped soon, I think Dumoulin and Mikhail Nieve, I think Mikhail Nieve will be done soon as well. There goes Chavez, I don't think Chavez has much energy left either. So I think he'll die out soon as well. Actually, it seems, yeah, he didn't have the ability to attack for that much. Uh, I'm the one leading out here, which I find good. Kanga, so now Nibali is alone. Valverde is alone as well, so there's no team left with two riders. Apart from Sky, actually, they have both Mikhanieve and Lander. Let's see, let's just check with Jan Gustav Bro if he's alright. Yeah, he's still sitting. He doesn't have any problem at, at the moment following Kreuzweg and the other riders here. Okay, Valverde goes. So right now I'm four position. I'm actually dropped to Mulang Mike. It was Mikhail Nieve who blocked in. Uran is done as well. Uran is sixth overall, so that's a big rider out of the question at the moment here. I would like to get up to Nibali and Chavez. I think Valverde is up in second right now. Yeah, he's up to. He, Valverde is overpowered in this game. He just immediately. Close the gap up to uh, what? What are they called? Uh, Landa. He overtook Chavez and immediately went past him, and then yeah, just caught. What's he called? Michael Landa immediately. I don't think we'll see that in real life that fast, at least. So I caught up with Chavez here, and Nibali, Nibali attacks immediately again. He wants to get up to Michael Landa. Landa is toast already. Now it's Alverde going up the final category 2 climb. This isn't the longest climb. So it can go a bit faster here, I think. I think I'll push it up to 80 here. I go past, I go up to Chavez, I go past immediately up to Nibali and Landa. This is good for me. I'm dropping Maika, which is my biggest competitor right now for fourth place. I am about three minutes ahead of him. Landa as well. This puts me up to third. Right now we are all placed. Alverde first, Nibali second, and me third. This is just like the overall conservation at the moment. It seems like. The three strongest riders right now are battling. I'll slow down a bit here because I don't want to die out too fast now. Otto Vivo, Chavez. Uh, I just want to take a look at the chunk of stuff. Bro, maybe I can. He does seem to have a bit of energy left here at the end. Where did my mouse go? Let's just reconnect it again. There it is. Okay, he is pulling. There it is. It's really lagging my mouse right now. Okay, there it is. Um, Sangstaff Pro. 
He's actually dropped Kreuzweg and Trondrovsky in order, otherwise he's going solo. Uh, he's about two minutes behind though. But I think I, I can put him around like 75 or so for the rest of the stage here. The driver is tired as well at the moment. So he won't be able to last for that long at this pace. I don't believe so at least. I got a minute or so to Mikel Landa, which is a big, big news. I've actually dropped Nibali. If I had Moini left, I could have. But Valverde is so good, he's two minutes ahead. And I'm, I'm out of Andy. I know I'm much worse stats-wise. But I'm completely out of Andy here. Still 1.5 for Peru to the top. I think he's slowly catching. I see. I know, I'm just, I'm just going to alter him here. Seems like he's doing better than me anyway. There's a three-man group by, behind us at Dumoulin. Land and Mike. I did not expect Dumoulin to do that great. Chavez has been dropped far back. Uran is probably the biggest loser today. As is Pro, of course. A for all will probably also drop a bit down the standings here. Five clumps to go now. Well, that will take like his sixth or seventh victory here. And here goes my attack. Just to see if I can get some more time on the riders behind me here. Let's so enter the final three kilometers. Nibble is right on my wheel at the moment here. And I can actually drop him here as well, I think. Like by, by like 10 seconds or so. But it's better than nothing. I get like 20 seconds on him. And the rest comes here. Just gone past the one kilometer mark. I actually gained like a minute and a half on Maike. Uh, Lando lost a bit of time at the end. Here comes Jesse Ron Chavez. Next up, Uran, Kanga, Nieve, Amador, and Fulsang. And then a big jump down to uh, Peru. Still two minutes behind him, but he gained like two and a half minutes on the final two climb to Kreuzweg. And he was working from the bottom of the category one climb at the first one here today. So, great performance overall. We beat Nibali today, which is very difficult as we've seen. Valverde seems totally out of reach. Don't think we'll have any chance of beating him in any stage right now. I'll have to be insanely lucky. Or he'll have to be insanely bad for him. I, think, I feel like I've done everything I can to set Valverde in bad positions. But he has a strong team. And he's just so strong himself as well. So let's see the results after today's stage. The results gets us uh, second place in today's stage. Again about... Yeah, what is it? 17 seconds, I guess. On Nibali plus a few bonus seconds. Doesn't really matter too much. Puts me a bit closer to him. Um, that's a, I think there's a mountain time trial coming up. That's probably the only place where we can really gain time on him. Because it seems very difficult to beat Nibali and Valverde in these stages. At least by a lot of time. Dumoulin a bit further back with Micah. The increase our gap from 3rd to 4th place. The podium seems more and more likely at the moment. Pro drops from 8th down to 10th. Getting overtaken by Hesida and Esteban Chavez, I believe. And also pretty close to being overtaken right now by Fulsang. So hopefully he can keep his top 10 place because he is a great rider for our team. Team of business, we are still third, have been that for a long time. Astana and Moves are still really close. Young riders, I think, yeah, Bob Jungels, that's not really the, the greatest riders here. Uh, Villains in second, I probably would have expected Villains to beat Jungels, but Jungels has done really great in the duo so far and he'll probably continue to. Points, Porto Vivo is in fourth. Mountain classification, he is in uh, third place right now. Time classification, I think. Got two brands up, Bert Tasso and Maestri here. Uh, but yeah, still 192 riders. Still a lot of us in the game. Should probably have been a bit more withdrawn right now if it was, if it, if it was more realistic, but it hasn't been. Uh, tomorrow's stage looks as follows. It's stage 14. It's one of the most mountain estate is and it's really high mountains look we are almost at the top of the map it can't go much higher than this and we're ending up pretty high as well so it should be a lot of fun tomorrow the climbs are very many of them and they are very short distance between them so there's not a lot of room for recovery maybe that's in my favor i don't know we'll see you tomorrow see you guys next time goodbye